Hello, welcome back. If this is your first time, my name is Janet. It's very nice to meet you. Um, we're gonna be doing our photo shoot today. I have a really cool idea and we're gonna get ready and chat with me. So, yay. So how are we doing? I am doing pretty good. I have been in my head a lot lately, if I'm being honest. Um, just overthinking life and that's something that's pretty common for me because I feel as if, or I know that all of my life I've just overanalyzed everything and that's just what seems natural to me and I'm trying to just get out of that but I don't really know how to. <laughs> I don't know how to freaking transport my consciousness out of my thoughts and somewhere else. But I'm trying. I meditate every day. Um, yeah, but I've just been trying. And I think sometimes it can be hard because it's November now and um, it's getting colder. The sun's setting at freaking 4.57 today, which is crazy. That's so early. Also, it's 70 degrees today. I'm talking about getting colder. Freaking global warming. <laughs> but besides that, um, yeah, it is. We're just gonna have a quick therapy session. It's just interesting because uh, there's a lot of details you all don't know and maybe one day I'll divulge into all the things of my life but and everything I go through but um I'm just trying to stay positive because I know that that is the best thing um yeah sometimes it can be the hardest but I know focusing on the positives is the best solution. And it's interesting because I've really been obsessed with chess lately. <laughs> like just playing it on my phone and in real life. And I'm good at it. Okay, I'm better than I could be or used to be, honestly. And that is a time where I get to use my analytical mind and it's okay because in regular life when I'm doing it sometimes things aren't that deep you know sometimes things aren't that serious but you know thinking in that way you think well what does this mean and why they do this and da 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 but it's not always that serious. Also, don't my edges look really cute? This is the first time I've ever done it. <laughs> Anyways. Usually I don't get this personal. But I'm also just trying to open up and go on my boundaries because it's good to take risk. Ricks, risks. <laughs> and also... I don't know, maybe someone who's watching it, maybe is feeling the same way that I am, you know, just overthinking about things that they shouldn't be concerned about, mostly other people's opinions, because I think that is where most of my problems come from, or at least when it comes to analyzing, is that I just worry about, also can we take a second to acknowledge the skin? So random, I know. <laughs> but it's way better than last week. Um, what was I saying? But yeah, in case someone's feeling that way, I was talking about uh, people and the, thinking about that. Just worried about other people and what they think and how they may feel. And in certain contexts, that is needed. But for my artistry and just things that I want to do in life. As long as I'm not hurting anyone, I don't think that it should be that way. And sometimes, 
I think I just need the reminder that is this bringing me joy? Is this making me happy? Am I happy with what I'm doing myself? Not worried about other people. Oh no. Oh my god. Uh, oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so. And I think because I'm young, you know, I'm only 22, turn 23 uh, next month, literally. So crazy. I think just because I'm young, I think it's, uh, I think because I'm young, it's just more, what's the word I'm thinking of? It's just easier for me to fall victim or entrapped to the thoughts of someone else, you know, kind of like high school days is what it reminds me of. Of just being worried about oh my gosh does this person like me oh my gosh am i being cool when in real life people who this is my theory people who were just popular in the shit in high school maybe that's the same when they get older but the likelihood of it declines because sometimes those aren't the best people <laughs> to be honest And the quote-unquote weirdos are the ones who are the happiest. I always thought that in high school that, you know, people who got made fun of for liking what they like, they were always the happiest in doing what they wanted to do. And I always admired that. And I wasn't that cool in high school. I have I have friends, don't get me wrong, but whether they were good or bad. But um I wasn't like super popular. I don't know. I always I hung out with who I hung out with. I got along with who I got along with. It's always kind of been like that. I'm also really good at picking up on energy. Anyways. I'm getting distracted. The point is, is that I'm just trying to move into a space where I am no longer a people pleaser or concerned with the opinions of others, but more so concerned with myself. You know, as long as I'm not hurting anyone and those aren't my intentions, then I think that it's all Gucci. But I don't really support Gucci, if I'm being honest. Anyways, I don't support most high-end fashion companies only because I don't always think that their products are quality. That doesn't go for all of them. But it's more so just... Uh, the label than actual quality. And I just think it's kind of a scam. And at the end of the day, people only want it because of the name associated with it. And I'm not saying it's bad to want those things. I just think it doesn't appeal to me as much as it used to. If I buy something, I want to, if I spend invest my money in something, I want to feel confident in that product. I want to feel confident in what I'm supporting. And with a lot of fashion brands, especially high end, I don't always feel the most confident putting my money in those places. And if we give the value that money has, then it matters where it goes. That's how these places are staying so successful. Okay, so for my photo shoot today, I am planning to take photos. What's gonna happen is, obviously, what's gonna happen is 
this is not my backdrop. I am going to Photoshop uh, this card and I'm going to put it in the background of me and then I'm going to take all these luxurious photos. I don't know if you can tell with my lips right now. I was trying on something different. I don't know if I like it, but I'm going to see how I like in some photos and then see if I want to keep it or not. But yeah. Y'all already know what time it is. Who's that lady? Who's that lady? Oh my gosh, she looks so good. Who's that lady? Wow, 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 them edges. Like a secret agent. Double seven. It turned into a So I just finished the photo shoot. Fun fact I wanted to mention about playing cards. Um, you can Google card Thomasy. I'm pretty sure it's the pronunciation. If not, correct me. I'm always open to being corrected. But originally, uh, playing cards were the original tarot cards. So people would actually read people's fortunes or tarot readings with playing cards. Isn't that cool? So I actually have, I can do that. That's why I mentioned that. And I have videos on my TikTok. They're old and I still have some of my drafts. I stopped doing it. But I used to give tarot readings on TikTok and I just thought it was fun and it was cute. And I did them for a time for money, but then I didn't really enjoy doing it. I only had one uh, person and there was nothing wrong with the person. The person was fine. They were nice. They were all good. It was a good reading. There was nothing bad about it. It was really draining to me, you know, just taking a lot of my energy. So since then I stopped, but I still would do it for friends if I wanted to, I got distracted. Also, I thought it was incredibly interesting how the someone from the UN or someone had tweeted Elon Musk or made a tweet about Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos saying that a fraction of their wealth could be donated to solving world hunger. And when Elon Musk in return asked okay, if you send me a plan, I will donate the money right now. And they said, oh, let's meet privately. And I just think it's very interesting how all of these government officials globally are very discreet about financial spending. I feel as if we do have the resources. I think that we do already contain all of that. It's just about putting our brain power together into helping people. But obviously we know that greater governments and even the government of the United States doesn't want that for the global economy because that eliminates a major um, gross income for them and other countries, governments. And it really just makes you question, one, the people in power, and two, what is the point of a government if it's not willing to work for the people? I have for today. Sorry it wasn't the most exciting. I shouldn't apologize, but you know, sometimes it's just like that. Um, but I'm doing good overall. I am learning how to navigate through life like anyone is. I'm only 22, so there's a lot of room, there's a lot of space, so many things to discover, so many things to talk about. And I'm so grateful for whoever's watching. I love you, Larry David, hit me up. This is not a drill, <laughs> this is serious. Contact me because I feel as if you and I together could be magic, okay? <laughs> Anyways. Thank you. Bye. I love you. Beep boop, beep boop.